Good day, all YouTubers. Hope you are having a wonderful day. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping in. For those returning, welcome back. Uh, today's video is a little bit different. Uh, recently, I made a life-changing decision in selling my prized possession cars and invested in a much different vehicle. Uh, as I make this journey, I figured, eh, I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Now, bear with me. This is the first time doing a live recorded video. For budget reasons, I went with a DJI Pocket 2 uh, and need to learn its quirkiness. So uh, be kind in the comments, as you'll see some not so clear takes throughout this video. Now sit back and be prepared to see an amazing new to me ride get delivered. All right, all right. Hold on, let me turn on my external microphone. Let's hope that thing picks up. There we go. Well, today is the day that the infamous ride is on its way. Um, most of you know I am a Chevrolet Camaro guy and I've been owned uh, many Chevrolets, many Camaros, uh, most recent a 2017 ZL1 and a 2018 Camaro 2SS. Um, I've sold both of them. GM uh, got under my skin so I've actually sold uh, almost all of my uh, GM vehicles other than my Silverado sitting there. Um, recently picked up a daily driver as a Genesis, Genesis G80. She's uh, quite a beauty. 3.5 twin turbo. Gets up and goes but uh, also rides in style. She is a great ride. But here very shortly, let me see if this camera is going to resync up with my face. I had some issues with this thing, so I'm trying to get it resolved. Uh, lighting is getting low, the guy's running a little behind, um, so unfortunately, it is what it is. So, once the guy gets here, I'll have some good footage. Uh, you guys will be able to see that um, hopefully in the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes uh, when it's not completely dark out. Uh, the guy will be here. So, um, as you can see, it's having a hard time tracking my face today. Come on now. It is the lighting. And it really stinks because he said he was supposed to be here around 1600. Now it's 1620 uh, ish and he's not here yet. Um, but when it's here, uh, I will do a little bit of video around the vehicle, uh, give you guys some good f uh, pictures and whatnot. Uh, most likely I might have to do another uh, walk around tomorrow uh, and then I'll put all this together for you guys to see. Uh, but I'm really excited. Um, it's not too many people that know what I'm getting um, and not too many have actually seen it. So uh, I can't wait for it to get here. Hopefully very, very soon. So more to come. All right. Well, he's pulling down the road now. So let's... Uh, See this bad boy coming in. Double car hauler. This guy had a couple transports to do, it looked like. Hopefully my microphone is on okay because the box apparently is tucked away in my shirt and I can't find it. There it is. He's going to try to find a good spot to uh, obviously to back off. I'm going to have to change my camera to here to be locked. There we go. This will give the guy plenty of room to back off. I don't know why he wanted to go that much further down the road, but. <laughs> Let's see what we got, guys. I am impatiently waiting for this. And for those that know me, I am very, oh, there it goes. Very particular about my vehicles, so I'm hoping everything is strapped down well and looks good and good to go. Hey, how you doing? Yes. 
Yeah, very, very, very close. Let's see what we got. Yes. Yes. There it is. Unfortunately, it's getting a little dark, but we can see it. We'll get to see a little bit of it anyway. Looks like they've got wheel straps on it, so that's kind of good, as opposed to strapping to the body or underneath, so I'm happy with that. It's a 2010 SRT10 Roadster. Give this guy some time to get it all unstrapped. Pause this and I'll be right back. All right. Hey, it's tracking me now. This thing has a hard time at night uh, when it's getting darker or overcast. It says track, but it does work. Getting the last straps off now. Overly excited, overly excited. Can't wait to hear it. I've not seen this thing in person. It's been inspected by a third party up in uh, Michigan where I purchased it from. Um, I'll put a link in the description for the uh, appraisal company. The guy did an amazing job. He sent me like 178 photos, you know, pulled the oil dipstick, pulled other fluids, looked it all over. Um, you know, fine tooth comb, really good guy. So anybody up in that Michigan area, uh, definitely check him out. But I'll put, I'll put a link in the description. All right, looks like he's getting ready to climb in and get it started. So here we go. See if I can switch microphones, turn this one off. Alright, that mic's off, so now it should be on the front mic. Turn off that tilt lock so it, it's more of a follow here. She is a beauty. I'm going to wind up pausing this and taking uh, my own eyes around her, checking it out myself, getting some good close up. doing his inspection as you can see but it looks stunning absolutely worth the wait I've been working on this deal for about a month worth the wait
All right, that's gonna be it for this second. I'm gonna go ahead and look it over myself, sign some papers, and I'll be back. All right, I am back, day two. Car is in the garage, and I did say yesterday that I would do a little bit of uh, video today with the car. Bring it outside, see it a little bit in the, a little overcast daylight, but at least we have some. So I'm going to set this camera up, back it out of the garage, because it is in there sleeping. And uh, I will be back in a second. microphone on so you can hear me a little bit better all right that is the beast a little bit of daylight I have not found a lot wrong with this thing she is near mint condition Very well maintained. Minus the wind out here. Hopefully you can hear it. Love the vents. Heat extractors, they look beautiful. There is some uh, scuffing underneath the bumper, but it's pretty darn common. These low, low riding cars, it's hard to keep them from scraping areas. But she is a beauty. Might have to modify the exhaust, make it just a little bit louder. Sounds good, but I am kind of an exhaust guy, so. I say, you know, I don't see a lot of anything wrong with the paint. A little a few handprints on the door. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that does not want handprints on paint. Interior looks pretty darn good. Carbon fiber door sill. Clean. All right, let's get inside. I don't know how well this is going to work with me being so close. But, there you go. Steering wheel is a little faded from uh, a lot of use. So I'm going to try to recondition it. I don't know if the material will come back out or not. Be a little blacker. It does work, though. We'll 
a little scuff there. She got TPMS issue. I do got to work figure what that is. It says flat tire, and they were all low when I got the car. Set them to 29 psi as recommended, um, but I still have some sort of TPMS issue. So if you guys know tricks of the trade on that, let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna research resetting that. Came with nav, but unfortunately there's no nav disc uh, available for me uh, with the car. Like the low income home energy assistance uh, program sound is or LIHE. Good. Let's see if I can find some channel that actually works. Uh, of course it's Christmas. Very clear, very clear. Of course, I've had to add the lovely radar detector. Uh, it's kind of needed. Easy pass is thrown up there. Everything here looks great still. Got the uh, window sticker was laminated, so I don't know if the owner, previous owner, had it. But, uh, that's pretty nice. Spin that around this way; it'd be a little bit easier. Spin around button, selfie mode. That's me. Now it's going to track me. All right, let's see. Can I turn that off? Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, speakers down here. Yeah, it's gonna keep tracking me. It's all right. Anyway, so far I love it, guys. I love it, love it. Convertible top. I'm not gonna bother taking that down right now. It's a little chilly for that. I am gonna test that over a little bit. Some of you might want to see what's what it looks like under the hood. It looks like every other Viper. But let me uh, let me go out here and check. Oh man. Yeah, I know, noob, right? I'm a noob with the camera. Um, it lost tracking. Now it's back. All right, let me go ahead and pop the hood. Bear with me. Climbing in and out is not the easiest. All right, for those that know Vipers, it's not popping from the inside. It's outside. It's a little... Uh, lever right down here here's the trunk release now, if you're going to try to steal a car don't do, don't do it on these you're going to try to pop the hood the alarm's on it's still going to go off and then right inside here a little yellow bar there but there she is in its glory 8.4 liter V10. She's gorgeous. All right, it's in follow mode again. Let's lock that camera. Sounds good and solid to me. Well, you guys tell me. I don't hear anything out of out of the ordinary. Hood's nice and clean underneath. Again, yeah, I'm, I'm the third owner, so. These uh, last two owners took care of it. She's in great shape. All right. Well, that's going to be it for me. Just a few minutes. Just wanted to check it out in the daylight. I uh, hadn't had the chance to do that. Get this video compiled for you guys. Uh, let me know what I should do next. What I should modify. I'm thinking right now just exhaust, exhaust and radio. Um, I'm thinking maybe leaving that single DIN in there and maybe a pop out double DIN, backup camera, bring it to the uh, 21st century, you know, although it is 2010. It just doesn't have a backup camera, which I'm lazy and I, I'm used to. So, anyway, 
All right, guys, see you on the next one.